So over here on my home page of Google Forms, you can see that I have the two form that I created recently. And you can see that the name of the form is find a time and data accordingly right here. If I were to go to my drive right here, you will see the form over there as well. So let me just go around over here and search for, uh, let's say the data form. So let me just go around and type in data and you can see that here the data form is here. It's this icon right here, just like this. So let me just go around onto form right here. And if you want to rename out a form, what you can do is you can click on the three dot icon right here and you can rename out a form right here. So I'm just going to go around and let's say, for example, this is going to be the tutor tube test form right here. Just press OK and the file has been renamed out. So if I were to go around and click on blank form right here, or if even if you were to choose template, you'll get the same option right here. On the top, you can see that there's the untitled form and here is the title of the form right here. So I'm going to go around and say the, uh, like test form. Uh, I'm just going to type in test form for tutor tube right here, just like this. This is the title of the form. And if you were to go and click, you can see that the same form file name gets copied out. But the title and the form name is different. So if I were to go around right here and just rename it to tutitude form right here. So I'm just going to say tutitude form details right here. Then that will be the file name and this will be the title of the form right here. So over here, you can give a form description. Let's say, for example, I request every one to fill. So I'm just going to go around and type in every one to fill up this form and help me uh i'm just going to type in help me collect data just like this so you can see that this is what you have right here you can go around and then uh make changes as per what you like you can click and edit out and then this is the description of the form right here and you don't need to automatically save out the form everything gets automatically saved out and it will be updated and that is how you can see that the form name has been updated right here so if i were to go around on to uh, forms.google.com right here on the top you can see 222 form details is here as you can see so uh, the file name is here and even in your google drive you'll be able to find that let me just go around and then i'm going to rename this let me just copy this out right here if i were to go around and set so 222 form details you can see that it is here the 222 form detail the file has been created in my google drive and that is how you can name out form and then add in description inside of the form uh, using Google Forms. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.